Hello, my name is Dr. Shelley Seward. I'm a member of the Carmanos Multidisciplinary Gynecologic Oncology team here. My colleagues and I are often asked about uterine cancer, so I've come here today to talk a little bit about uterine cancer with you. Uterine cancer occurs when the normal cells of the uterus, or the womb, become abnormal and grow out of control. It's the most common gynecologic malignancy, affecting about 48,000 women per year. The abnormal cells can come from either the thin lining of the uterus, the endometrium, which is the most common, or from the thick muscle layer. As with most cancers, increasing age is a risk factor for developing uterine cancer. In fact, most uterine cancers are diagnosed in women in their postmenopausal era. Other risk factors for endometrial cancer include high estrogen levels. This can be caused by obesity, as adipose cells create estrogen. It can also be caused by taking high levels of estrogen. Another factor for high estrogen levels are having early menarche, or periods, and having late menopause. Other factors include hereditary risks. Those with known Lynch syndrome have an increased risk of endometrial cancer as well as colon cancer. Unlike the pap smear for cervical cancer, there is no screening test for endometrial cancer. The best form of prevention is early detection. If you have atypical vaginal bleeding, the best thing to do is be seen early. Your doctor can perform an endometrial biopsy, either in the office or in the operating room, and get ultrasound imaging of the uterus for further information. Atypical bleeding can be a symptom of benign conditions, but we want to rule out malignancy at the earliest stage possible. The most common symptom of uterine cancer is atypical vaginal bleeding. In fact, over 80% of women present with bleeding. In the postmenopausal period, or when you've stopped having periods, any bleeding needs to be evaluated immediately. For those women still having periods, heavy bleeding, bleeding in between periods, or atypical bleeding for your cycle should be evaluated immediately as well. After initial biopsies and imaging studies are done, the next step in treatment is staging. For uterine cancer, staging is done surgically by removing the uterus, the cervix, the tubes, ovaries, and possibly the fat layer called the omentum as well as some lymph nodes. Given recent innovations, this can be done minimally invasive, giving you shorter and easier recovery times. Fortunately, the majority of women will be treated by surgery alone. However, for those with a later stage disease or more significant histology, adjuvant treatment with chemotherapy or radiation may be needed. Knowing your body and your cycles are important for early detection. The majority of uterine cancer cases are stage one, over 80%. And of those women, 95% will be alive and well at five years. So the key is early detection and evaluating symptoms as soon as possible. If you are concerned that you may have uterine cancer, have experienced some of the symptoms of uterine cancer, or are at risk for developing uterine cancer, you should make an appointment here at Carmanos as soon as possible by calling 1-800-CARMANOS.